Hey guys, it's Honestly Susie. Uh, today I'm reviewing a few books, and the first one, I know I always say I'm really excited about them, but I really am, is by Helen Elliston. I've got to know Helen fairly well, and I just absolutely love her art. This one is her newest, Inky Whimsy. Um, it has the same little dog I remember seeing in a lot of her books. Um, this one has 30 pages. And they are only one-sided. It's not perforated. But it's made to where you can kind of set the pages like this. And you don't have to worry about this other page flipping. Um, you don't have to worry about the images running into the center of the book. And having to try to color in the crack. Okay. So. Um. She's, what she, she suggests doing is putting a blank sheet underneath each page because the paper is not as thick as cardstock. It's thicker than copy paper. Um, most of her books have this kind of paper in it. I've never really had any issues with any type of medium that I've used, but I always put a, a protector underneath so I don't have to worry about it bleeding onto the next image. But you guys know that I'm a pencil lover, so I don't really have to worry about that much anyway. But if you use pens or markers, please make sure that you use something behind the page. All right, so in this one, she has a lot of different creatures, a lot of different scenes. Um, here you've got fairies and mermaids, um, dolphins, dogs, a dancer strawberries, butterflies, owls. This is a good one to do gemstone on. She's got a few gemstones in here. I know a lot of people are looking at the tutorials on how to do gemstones. Here's a beach scene, flowers and another fairy and elephants. This would be a good tutorial to actually do is one uh, on how to do bubbles. If anybody out there wants to do a tutorial on bubbles, or maybe if I get a chance, I can try my hand at it. But that would be a good one um, to work with in that. She, she's got a few of the mandalas in here as well. This is cute. It's, it's little mice painting the mushrooms. And um, I just thought it would be kind of cool. You would use the really bright colors for the paint. And then maybe some of them that aren't painted yet, you can leave black and white. Now, Helen actually colored this one herself, and she posted it in several coloring books. Um, probably most of the coloring books, uh, several coloring books, several coloring book groups. Most of the groups that I've in, I've seen her um, actually post this one, and she did a wonderful job. Owls are my favorite, and I kind of am afraid to start that one because I know I couldn't do as good of a job as she can, but um, this one is really good for book lovers. I've not seen a coloring page that has stacks of book on books on it much less little whimsical things that are also on there and i saw where helen posted yesterday i think she's going to start this page and i told her this was one of my favorite ones you've got a mermaid in the uh in the jaws of a shark But they, uh, hers are always really fun. Um, she just came out not long ago with Inky Galaxy. And she actually has a video on it on uh, one page that she did. You can go to her website. I'll tell you where, where all that is. And you can also go to Honestly Susie Tutorials. And you'll find all of her videos. I think maybe she did five color along videos on one page for Inky Galaxy. But here shows some of the images that are in the book. And this is volume nine, so that means she has nine books. Discover more, visit www.helenclareart.co.uk. So here she says that she can be found via her website. So in her series so far is Inky Ocean, Inky Garden, Inky Mandalas, Inky Mandalas Mix, Inky Extreme, Inky Dinky Blossom, Inky Lifestyle, Inky Galaxy, and now Inky Whimsy. So you can find this book on Amazon, and I'll have the link in the description, and hope you guys enjoy it.